Okay, so we want to be careful on the way up, take as little damage as possible. It's not running over zombies. When we get to the bridge, we clear it with our 9mm pistols if we need to. Or even the base or bat. These bodies are finally gone. So we do have a couple of blockages on this road. Jeez, I barely missed those. Start seeing zombies soon. God, I'm hoping I haven't forgotten anything. Okay, let's take this. Take it slow. In the pipe, five by five. Okay, so a lot of cars here that we could rip engines out of, and a lot of metalworking, and I don't see any zombies around yet, but I'm pretty sure they were here last time. stuff. That zombie is in our way. Okay. Yep, now it'll be like this most of the way to West Point, I think. Yeah, we didn't want to be dragging that car going 20 miles an hour. I mean, even here, tree grown in the wrong spot would um, would have messed up this plan and that's going to be a, an ongoing problem with the with the erosion to the point where at some at some point I will probably have to clear that intersection like I said this is basically what we expect to be with us for most of the trip. That didn't look as... I mean, now that we've been to Mulder or Riverside, um, that didn't look as thick as it once did. It's more than we want to deal with, but we, we could blast our way through that if we had to. job of dodging things and it's more important to dodge trees and cars than zombies but um, you don't want to work from a zombie and hit a light pole or something like that that's not gonna be a good trade How they even recognize the car as food. Like, they have the brains to know that, ah, well, there will be a person driving that. Or is it just a matter of not having tinted windows and stuff? I guess we don't even have a windscreen this by the look of it. I'm pretty sure that's not the road we want. The one we want is quite large. Yes, before, yes, if we had to get out of this car at any point, uh, then it is going to be a long panicked run through the forest.
Okay, so this should be the edge of West Point, which means we'd really like to lose these guys chasing us. Um, not pick up too many more. Uh, seems like that's not going to be possible. I remember that top car. So at this point we're probably going to have to start actually running over people and killing them. Here's the bridge we're talking about. Okay, so the the population seems manageable. Okay, we're dropping our supplies on the ground, but Got to see us. Oh, thank you for that lighter. Okay, so it's surprisingly clear here. I mean, this is what we were expecting and hoping, so. Plan's going well, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get these log stacks out of the car. So even just this little fence here is enough to help us fight off things with more confidence. I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping the zombies can't go off to the sides here. Um, shit, but do I really want to hope that? Like, if they can walk along that beam and then toss themselves over this rail, then that's going to screw up all of my plans. Um, whereas if I jump over that, I don't know, am I going to get stuck in the water? Is that going to kill me? But damn it, let's... I hate making... Um, assumptions that will kill me if they're wrong, but let's assume that that's fine. Okay, it's letting me walk to there, but it's probably trying to path around. I guess I can build this with the car on the outside. It's kind of on the wrong side. Should have thought of that. Nuts. Uh, I guess between the propane tank and a bit of nudging we can probably clear that path. So if I'm leaving my entire flank exposed by not like covering up that section, I guess I can go test if I can walk on it. Okay, I can't walk on that. That's that should be okay. Oh, 
Well, so far this is working according to plan. So I should build at least one fence. Because see, I can't go over those unless I destroy them. Or I build a fence to allow me to hop over the fence onto the path blocker. Hop over the fence on the other side. But I'm pretty sure the zombies won't get over. I don't need that second line of fences. Barely sure. I don't even know if I need to take that out. If I can just... I guess if I'm worried about this thing, I can always yeah, just... I'm sure that's not a problem, but... for stairs or 12? I thought it was 12. Yeah, 15. Okay. Can we get 15 in our inventory? No, I don't think I can walk off this stuff, but um, did I test it? Yeah, okay. I can't walk off this. That's good. Okay, let's get some of this stuff out of my inventory we don't need. Don't need the sledgehammer. Really need that rain collector barrel to be elevated, but now I just want it out of the inventory. Okay, so we don't have a lot of wood left. Now, I could go cut some wood, except I forgot to bring an axe to do that. So, that's not great. So at this point, we've, uh, we're basically stuck with the, the path blockers on the ground. Because I, don't, I no longer have enough to, um, to elevate. Unless I turn home and get some more. So I could dart over there. Saw off that one van. And then we should be able to just drive past it. And I can come back with a ton more wood. Um, that's probably not the worst idea. Because I'd really like to... Let's see if I can build a set of stairs over that water. Uh, if I'm going to go home, remind me to take that cheaper. Oh, I forgot stairs only want to go in a certain goddamn alignment. Okay, well, this are elevated. That is something. Okay, but we're getting out of here. So we hop this, hop that. Whatever on foot. Well, that car. That's even more difficult than I thought. So hopefully the van can shove those out of the way. Though, no, I actually probably can't. Instead, we'll have to use most of our propane torch to do this. Okay. Let me drop everything out of the back. Everything but the kitchen sink. 
uh, you know what, we can place that. Hopefully nothing runs up and destroys it. And then we can put the kitchen sink in it. Cool beans. Okay, we'll call that a successful failure. Um, come on, come on. We're going to cut up that one as well. Oh, what are you doing? This one. own power, but no. Uh, I probably should have looked under the hood and done some repairs on this thing, but uh, we didn't do much uh, demolition on the way, so we should be okay. Now, every guy we kill here with a car is someone we're not killing with our shotgun, so we do still want to avoid that. I knew I'd forget something, and yeah, the fire axe is something we should have thought of. Uh, we left our sheet rope there as well. I asked you to remind me. I guess if we just keep making this trip, eventually we'll um, depopulate the road just by natural attrition. Well, natural attrition meaning me running into something with a, with a ban. That's not exactly natural. So we've left all of our shotgun ammunition there. We've left all of our... Um, Probably should have put all that stuff into crates. It better not despawn or anything. That would um, that would make me probably rage quit. But yeah, so we've still got plenty of water there, plenty of food, uh, all of our ammunition. Let's concentrate here. I mean, I guess this time we, we could take probably three times as much wood as we took last time because we've got the bags we can have in our hands and a wood axe and maybe some wood glue and some nails and we need to fill up our propane torch and we need to repair this car I mean yes we could have just grabbed our little zippy car and dri driven around shotgunning crowds of zombies but um, it's not the same as just being able to stand there and fire reload fire reload fire reload over and over now that said the fact that it's probably taken us three all hours of um, of nothing but preparing for this might change that math and uh, short blade um, so I, I, I'm carrying a short blade and I don't even have it on my belt so that that says a lot about what I think about short blades versus sprinters We have multi-hit on, not that you tend to see it much. I don't think I've multi-hit something probably for uh, 20 episodes. Just play cool with this thing. No, not quite. I'm saying if I just stop my my door from closing. Well, we definitely need to repair the car now. Get you out. Wow. That's uh Brick 
Fiction. Fiction, motherfuckers, have you heard of it? We couldn't drag that. We couldn't drag a van with wheels on it in a car. But we can just push a van without wheels? Oh boy. Okay, so let's start getting stuff done. So, refill propane torch. It's probably my hand. There we go. Uh, we might even bring a propane tank with us, only because we have quite a few. Yeah, so we'll take that almost empty one. Uh, let's take a bite axe. And we'll take a bunch of hand axes. We got some. Um, I'll leave the wood axe here because I don't want to leave it up there. Uh, okay, we want to repair our car a little. Thanks to doing all that propane stuff, we have left the metal. Um, up by the bridge, so that'll be useful. Yeah, wow, look at that. Okay, so we do want to repair the trunk. We, we want to repair all this fully, but the trunk definitely, because that's uh, carrying capacity. Can I just use some small metal for this? Check this propane torch at the back. Have I left my lights on? Yeah, I've left the lights on. Yeah, that was really worth it, but um Okay, gas can capacity still good, fuel still good, I won't even bother fueling it up. We really used three units of fuel there and back. That's phenomenal. We were carrying more spare fuel than that. Um Okay, I think the tires took a little bit of a beating, but that's okay. Yep, everything else is there is fine. Uh, can I put the axes in there? I'll carry a plank. Okay, so now we have a dearth of axes. Uh, take some wood glue, I guess. I think I said that. Yeah, let's take some wood glue. close to here.
spots that are yeah pretty nearby but I'm still assuming that that barricade is good that that will hold them um, that might be a lousy assumption there so that should be good. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. Come morning, we could go set that siren off 